Welcome back to Fox Yard. I'm Crowdy Fox, and today we're going to be building the La Crosse, Wisconsin Fire Department Quint 1 and Quint 2. So, a Quint is a quintuple combination pumper, and it's a firefighting apparatus that serves the dual purpose of an engine or a ladder. Usually, you know, fire departments, they have two different ones, like, you know, for example, FDNY, they have a fire engine and a fire truck, but they basically combine it into one single truck, which is pretty cool. I never actually heard of Quints before. Um, so this is the first time we're building a quint and the quint double refers to the five functions that a quint provides being a pump, water tank, fire hose, aerial device, and ground ladders. So yeah, we have two quints here and they are actually both different, but they are similar in a way. So we'll probably be making like one base model for them and then we'll split off the tutorial. You see this one right here, it's like a regular aerial ladder. Here's 360 view of it. It is different per side. And then we have the bucket ladder, which is a lot larger, cooler, but uh, with shaders as far as shadowy. Uh, if you're building it regular, you'll probably uh, see the front a lot easier. Here's what it looks like in the back. Oh yeah, and I think another name for this is like a tower ladder. That's what I call my FDA and Y one. Uh, another difference between these two is that that one has two axles. Well, this one has three axles, so an additional axle here in the back. So that's not going to be the same. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the build. It's actually commissioned by Railfan Lily, so thanks to him for making this video possible. If you guys are interested in commissioning a build for yourself, check out the link in the description. But anyways, let's get started. So first off, we're going to be making a base model for both of them. So let's grab some materials. So we're going to take out a polish and a site slab, black concrete, and then this mangrove sign. Polish and sites uh, block, polish black stone brick slab, and stone button, smooth stone slab, and uh, red concrete. And yeah, I guess that's it for now. So uh, first off in the front, we're gonna make it a polish and site slab, just uh, two blocks above the ground, two blocks wide like this. And then we're gonna go to the side of this and we're going to add in a black concrete, so it's like in a diagonal. A mangrove sign to the side of that. Red concrete on top. And we're going to make it six blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, six, like so. All right, then in the front here, we'll add in a stone button, item frame wrap around it. And then down here, we'll add in a polished black stone brick slab. And then a polished anisite block right behind that. In the inside, we'll add in two black concretes. Polished black stone brick block down here, a slab on top. Stone button to the side of that. Then we'll add in an upside down uh, red nether brick stairs. Just like that. And then we're going to add in a polished anisite, um, I mean polished black stone brick slab and polished anisite right behind it. Alright, then on the top part, we're going to add in um, this black concrete here. And we're also going to add in um, nether brick block diagonally inside, just uh, uh, two blocks long like that. Black concrete on the outside part. And then um, nether brick wall right here. And then this corner is going to be a black glass block. An iron bar to the side of this. Go over here, add another iron bar. And in the back, another iron bar. And then we'll add in a black glass over here as well. And then in front of that is going to be this dark oak trap door. I'm going to close that up like this. And then we'll add in uh, another brick block inside of that. Then we're going to add in a dark oak trap door. So you want it on the, sort of like the middle of the truck. Open that up like that. It's going to actually be our center divider later on. And the edge, we're going to add in this uh, daylight detector. Make it blue. And we're going to add in two black carpets. And then three polished blackstone brick slabs. So one, two, three, like that. And then we'll add in uh, oak buns right underneath this window here and underneath this one. And then the back is going to be a stone bun like that. All right. All right. So next we'll add in a polished blackstone brick uh, stairs. And we're going to skip one block away from the edge here on top, add it in the, here in the middle, and extend it to the front of the cab. Just like that. And on top, we'll add in polished blackstone brick slab. 
All right, so next let's go add in um, smooth stone slab right underneath this polished black stone brick slab and the other one here in the back as well. Then we're going to add in a polished black stone brick wall behind this wheel and the inside polished black stone brick slab for the axle of the wheel, just like that. All right, so next up, we're going to add in a polished black stone brick slab right behind here. It's going to be eight blocks long. So let's just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to go down over here. And two blocks above the ground, we'll add in a black concrete. And we're going to make that uh, two blocks wide like that. Then on top of that, it's going to be a red concrete. Two blocks wide like so. And two polished black stone brick slabs like this. All right, next we'll go right behind the cap. And we'll add in four red concretes underneath here. So one, two, three, four. And then we'll add in four oak buttons to the side of that. Like so. All right, so once we have done it, that's uh, pretty much it for our base model. So I'm going to make a copy of it. First, we're going to make Quint 1, and then we're going to make Quint 2. All right, so let's get started here on uh, Quint 1. So first off, let's go here, delete this slab. We'll add in Daylight Tector. Inside, we'll add in a red concrete there. And then down here, we'll add in a polished blackstone brick block, slab on top, and wall behind it. Another slab for the axle. Stone bun right here in the middle. And then upside down, red nether brick stairs. That, then we'll add in a polished inside uh, block right there. Then in the back, we'll add in two red concretes, another two on the inside, and then two polished black stone brick slabs like that. Then we'll go down over here, red concrete, and deadly inside red concrete, two blocks long. Polished black stone brick slab here. And then a red concrete on the inside of that, upside down, polished black stone brick stairs. And then two polished black stone brick slabs and red concrete on top, just like that. All right, next we'll add in two red concretes here. And then three red nether brick slabs, skip block another one, polish diorite slab here. And then we'll add in a nether brick fence. So it's going to be um, two on a diagonal like that. And the inside over here, we'll add in upside down. Uh, polished black stone brick stairs on the inside of that uh, fence and we'll add in on top three polished black stone brick stairs facing the front uh, just like that and another polished black stone brick stairs facing towards the back like that and then a polished black stone brick wall right in this nook here then we're going to add in this uh, end rod with a birch fence on top right in the corner like that. And then another end rod sticking out here. And then a birch fence uh, right to the inside of that. All right, next we'll add in a smooth stone slab here. Polished black stone brick slab. And then three dark oak trap doors. And then red concrete on the inside of this hole here. And then polished andesite um, block right here. And then two on the inside down below, just like that. And then in the front here, we'll add in um, this polished inside slab, just one here. And then the inside's gonna be Paul andesite block right there. All right, next let's go down here and we'll add in two polished andesite slab, I mean blocks there, and then andesite um, walls on the outside of that, and then polished andesite slab, the slabs down below on the inside part, that. And then down below here is gonna be this iron trap door, three blocks long and two blocks wide right here in the back. All right, next we'll add in cobbled deep slate slab here and then four iron trap doors. And fourth one like that. All right, then we're gonna add in a birch bun here and then in the front, we'll add in upside down, polish black stone bricks uh, stairs, and then a mangrove uh, fence gate and trap door on top, and polish black stone brick slab right there. 
Alrighty, so um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this side. So copy everything that we did over here and build the other half. All right, so once we have both halves, it should look like this. Then we're gonna add in an oak um, plank here, black concrete and side, polish andesite slab here. The other side is gonna be polish andesite um, stairs like that. Then we'll go right here in the back and we're gonna add in a uh, red concrete here. Skip a block, another red concrete. And then a smooth stone uh, block here, an acacia bun right in the front of that. And we'll add in a V shape of sponge blocks like this for, you know, the chevrons. And we'll also add on this side, it's gonna be a ladder. So uh, just uh, two upside down, polish and a site stairs. And then a birch fence gate right there to the side, open that up. And then we'll add in a flower pot in the corners, as well as the inside uh, these two end rods like that. And these two fence should be connected. All right, close this part here. All right, anyways, this is gonna be um, polish black stone brick slab here on the right and a stairs on the left. Then we'll add in um, this stone bun here and acacia signs on the upper corners. Then the bottom corners is gonna be an orange bed facing down underneath, I mean, inside of an item frame. We'll turn that upside down like that. And then it's gonna be a trip wire hook and a polished black stone button like that. All right, then let's go down here and we're gonna add in uh, one polish insight slab on the other side, and then two on this side. That should be good. And the rest of this, we'll add in black concrete just to cover up the underside. I don't know, you would probably never see the underside of this fire truck though. Uh, next up, let's add in, um, actually this birch point should be on the side of this and a site. I don't know why did I do it wrong. But yeah, we'll just put on the end site instead. It's gonna be a birch button over here. And then this birch fence gate is gonna be opened up right over here, open that up. The other side, we're gonna add in a birch fence gate right over here, open that up. And then we'll delete this trap door here. And instead, we're gonna add in a red nether brick uh, slab right at the bottom. Then we're going to add in over here, two blocks tall, polished black stone brick wall. On the other side, we just add in a light gray carpet. Then um, in the front, underneath here, we'll add in a dark oak trap door. <laughs> it's gonna be a two by two, like that. All right, and then we'll need to make this banner here. And this banner, by the way, we'll be using for the other truck as well. I'll reference it back. Um, so basically go inside the loom and we'll need a red banner and red dye. So where's our banner at? And then black dye. So go inside the loom, add in red banner, a black dye, uh, up to upper third, put it back inside and add in red dye. And we want that, you know, shark, crocodile, beef at the top. Yeah. I really wish it was a straight line, but you know, this is Minecraft. So we're gonna just add this in the corner, just like that. And we're also gonna go down here and we'll just add in this uh, birch fence gate so it opens up towards the outside part. And these are just some um, wheel chunks or something like that, wheel blocks to keep in place, just hanging underneath like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the lacrosse fire department, the Quint one. Now let's go on and move to, you know, Quint number two, the tower ladder. So for this build, um, we're going to add in the polish uh, andesite slab over here and then a brick block right underneath it. Um, then the front, we'll add in a polished um, blackstone brick stairs and a slab here. I'm gonna add a polished blackstone brick uh, slab. And then we'll make an L-shaped polished blackstone brick stairs and black concrete here. A jungle button right to the side. And then two blocks wide, mangrove signs. And then a dark oak trap door right in the back. And we'll add another two uh, right underneath. 
And then the inside would add another three trap doors. Gonna stick out towards uh, the front. Then we'll add in a polished black stone brick wall here. And then let's go to the back. And we're going to add in um, polished black stone brick block here. Slab on top, wall on the front, stone bun, and a slab on the inside of that. And then upside down red nether brick stairs right there. Then a red concrete, stone bun, and then a polished black stone brick slab on the inside of that. Then we're going to copy this wheel. Same design pretty much, but we're going to build it the other way around. So it's going to be a reflected image right here in the back, just like so. Then we're going to add in a red concrete, two blocks long here. And then a polish and a sites uh, block, just two blocks tall. Down underneath, it's going to be an iron trap door, two blocks long. And then this cobbled deep slate slab. And then um, two iron trap doors, and then two blocks wide iron trap doors right in the back. And we'll add in this light gray carpet right in the corner. Then we're going to add in red concrete on the inside of this all the way across and then polished black stone brick slab all the way across. All right, then down here, we'll add in a red concrete. Dial it in another one and then a right side up polished black stone brick stairs. And then on top, we'll add in a red nether brick uh, slab. So we're going to make that uh, four blocks long. So two, three, four. And then we're going to add in a daylight detector, make it blue. And then um, light gray carpet. And then this nether brick fence, just two on a diagonal. And then back to back, polished black stone uh, brick stairs right here. And then upside down, polished black stone brick stairs. I'm going to add two polished black stone brick slabs, smooth stone slab. And then three dark oak trap doors. Back here, we'll add another two red concretes, oak buns to the sides of that. And in the back, we'll add in another polished black stone brick stairs here. So it goes dally up. And then some stairs facing towards the front all the way to the red. And polished black stone brick slabs, three of them like that. Next up, we'll add in um, stone bun right to the side of this, polish and site. And then we're going to add in this um, smooth stone block dangling inside, acacia bun right in front of it, and on top a daylight detector. And then we'll add in uh, this birch fence. And then dangly towards the front, another birch fence. And then an end rod, so it goes like that. All right, next up, we'll add in two polish insight blocks here. Polish insight slab on top, stone bun right here. And then a polish insight slab here, and then a cobble deep slate slab right there. And then we'll add in red concrete here, polished black stone brick slab, and then a mangrove trap door. And we're going to actually make that two blocks wide. Just because this has a hole in it, you can kind of see through the side. This makes it blend in more. Next, we'll add in an iron trap door. Inside, we'll add in a red nether brick slab, four blocks long. So one, two, three, four. Then we'll add in a smooth stone slab right there. Next, we'll add in an anisite wall here behind the cab and then polish anisite slab right on top like that. We'll also add in polished black stone brick stairs inside of that nook. That. Then we're going to add in a polished anisite slab in front of this uh, trap door. I'm going to make it the bottom slab. And the inside we'll add in polished anisite block inside of that. Then we're going to go to the back. We'll add in um, polished anisite block here. Birch fence gate, open it up towards the back. 
And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for what we're going to do for this side. Copy everything that we did here, build the other half. All right, so once we have both halves, it should look like this. So we're going to add in a polish and sights stairs right here. Polish and sights slab on the left. And then it's going to be uh, red concrete on the right. And the other side is going to be this oak plank like that. Uh, then we'll add in a polish um, blackstone brick stairs just facing this side. Polish blackstone brick uh, wall right there. And then it's going to be a red uh, nether brick wall here. Birched fence gate on top. Open that up. And then a black glass pane to the side of this wall. And then let's go to the back. And we're going to add in a sponge on the left, a sponge on the right, red concrete, and sharp wire hook, black stone button here, and red concrete on this side. The other side is going to be two upside down polish inside stairs like that. Then we're going to add in skeleton skulls right in the corners. And then we'll add in this... Um, and rod on this side. The other side is going to be a poly, I mean, just a regular and sight wall like that. And a light gray carpet right there. And we'll also add in two block stall, polished black stone brick wall like that. Then let's go uh, right over here to this section. I'm going to add in two blocks tall, polish and a sight. And then red concrete, two blocks wide down below, and polish. Black stone brick slab, two blocks wide, and red concrete, two blocks wide, and then a light gray carpet right there, polish, black stone brick slab right there, and then another smooth stone slab right here. Then we're going to go to the other side, and we'll add in a red banner here, and then we'll add in um, an site wall, two blocks tall underneath this. And polish and inside two by three. And then we're gonna add in a black concrete. We're gonna make an L shape like this and a polished black stone brick slab right there. And then we'll add in a um, stone bun right here. Black stone bun directly down and then a birch button. And an iron trap door right there. All right, next up, let's go make this banner. So go inside the loom, red banner, yellow dye, just make a diagonal. And you're going to make another diagonal the other way around to make the other side. So we just put that in the back corner like that. And for the other side, just the other way around. And we're also going to copy uh, this banner that we did from, you know, the first quint. Because that's going to be the same. So if you want to learn how to build it, just uh, go back in the video and try to find it. So it's basically just the uh, black dye in the upper third and then red dye make that uh, dragon teeth or whatever. Like that. Then let's go in the front, go down here, and we're going to make a 2x2 two two of polish, I mean dark oak trap doors, and then another iron trap door uh, onto one side like that. Alright, then let's go in the back here, go down, and we're going to add in two polish blackstone. All right, next let's go in the back on this side. We'll add in uh, black concrete in this uh, floor area. It's all filled in. Make sure you're doing that right. And then we'll add in two polish black stone brick slabs so they're just hanging down like that. All right, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it on how to make the lacrosse fire department, the quints in Minecraft. Thanks again to Railfan Lily for commissioning this build. And making this video possible, if you guys are interested in commissioning a build for yourself, check out the link in the description, hit that like button down below, and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.